Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve, Boondocking with Steve, all that good stuff. I am camped out here for about eight weeks. I'm doing uh, trade school out of town, and this is the most economical way to stay, and it's no hardship for me. I enjoy this stuff. So first things first, I'm going to clear out some snow here. They've run a plow through, but I'm going to take it right down to the gravel because I don't need snow melting under my feet. And we'll set things up, and I'll show you what it's all about. So yeah, for the next eight weeks, I'll be giving you some updates from out here, and uh, stay tuned. Now I'm trying to take it down as close to the gravel as I can get it. There's some ice here that I won't be able to get through with this flimsy shovel, but uh, I'll do my best and I'll just put a tarp down over top of the snow so it doesn't start to soak through. I've got a little carpet and some insulating mats I'll put on it as well. Because uh, the sun's setting fast and I want to get set up to get the fire going. All right, so I've got a lot of the snow cleared off. I'm gonna throw a tarp down here to it'll set up on. I've got uh, the tent here. A lot of you probably haven't seen how quick they go up before. Some of you might have, but uh, give a run through on that. But first I'll just get this ground tarp down, keep myself dry. Fortunately, it's not too windy. Pops right open. I'll center it on the tarp, get the wood stove in, and it's just that easy. It's inside the tent. The tarp could have been a touch bigger, but it's what I got, so that's what I'm working with. There's a few windows in here, some vents, and a stove jack up there, and uh, we're we'll, gonna set that up in a second here. But uh, this will be home for eight weeks, so I'm going to get it set up pretty nicely and it is really nice a uh, campground here. It's kind of cheating. It's a campground and I do have power as a backup in case the firewood uh, supply gets low, but I'm going to set this up and we'll keep camping. First, the crusty old curb. Wood stove. Wood stove flew. 
one of the best things to have with you if you're out for a while is a good table to work on. some stuff in and uh, I'm gonna get this stove set up what I have is this stove jack which uh, I slide over I don't have it hooked on there permanently yet but that's on the to-do list uh, I'll throw this together uh, I spared you the boredom of hauling in all this junk but uh, it'll be set up in no time and uh, do a run through on things and explore the campground a little hunger down make a meal and uh, gonna go to school for the next eight weeks so it's the plan. That should do. Uh, I gotta get a fire going, kinda set up, and I'm using some cheater heaters to get uh, this place up to speed until the fire gets going. But there's gonna be some cheater heaters because I'm here for a good eight weeks. Back on the weekends to home, see the wife, and, uh, but in the meantime, This is what we have to do. Now I'm not a crazy bushcraft fire starter. I use pieces of wax and whatnot, but that's not what this is all about. I'm not a survivalist uh, bushcraft guy. I'm just a, a camper. It really sucks the air through these little guys. I've got my damper opened up all the way for lighting it and for throwing wood in and anytime I have the door open so I don't smoke myself out. But I'm sure you know all that already. And in the meantime, let's uh, wait for this to go and continue on with the evening. And yeah, I'm cheating because I just can't do eight weeks with no electricity. And firewood's a little expensive to come by in these parts, so I'll use it sparingly, but I'm sure using it right now. The campground has four sites open in the winter. There's two other people here. Nobody in a tent though. That's a fairly large provincial park, but it's nice of them to keep it open in the winter, especially works well for my circumstance here going to trade school. So I'm going to explore just a little bit. All the services are closed for the winter, so I managed to find an outhouse, but that's it. Good thing the trade school has uh, a rec center with showers. It's a fairly elaborate network of cross-country ski trails here. I don't plan to take advantage of that because I've got other stuff on the go for school. 
but it's a claim to fame here. This is Vermilion Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. And tonight it's going to be probably minus 20 degrees Celsius. It's going to warm up next week, but uh, just a few cold, cold days here and no shortage of snow. Okay, I don't know what the temperatures climbed up to in here, but it's up there almost uncomfortably warm, which is always how it starts out. But same rules as always, carbon monoxide alarm, just in case because we're burning wood fuel and uh, some propane fuel for the lantern. But uh, tonight, we'll see how cold it gets. I've got some powerful sleeping bags and it should work out well. And uh, I got a steak I might try to cook. If I can figure out how to do it, I don't have a pan big enough. But uh, it might have to be macaroni and cheese, or chili, or Frito pie, or something like that. So, got lots of options for food, and uh, uh, my feet are soaked. I'm done walking around for the night. There's a lake just down uh, the other bank there, and uh, with snowshoes, I'd give it a look see, but not tonight, I don't think. Uh, but uh, who knows? That may change. And uh, stay tuned. Dinner's coming right up. And dinner's starting to happen. I'm gonna do steak and mac and cheese tonight because that's what I had on hand. And I'll just give you a quick uh, 360 of the how I got it set up here. Here's the uh, wood stove. I got the bunk set up to the left of that on the cot, which is nice and close to put firewood in if I need to. There is a pouch to the side of the bed there, which I can put. Uh, my bear spray in to protect myself from bears, etc. I've got my steak and mac and cheese in the cooler and the carbon monoxide alarm. Moving right around. Entrance door, the cheater heater, um, my work desk area, and my water. And some other paraphernalia for food and uh, another cheater heater and back to the stove so this will be home for eight weeks and uh, there's going to be a lot more of this happening in here but uh, the first night things seem to be going all right but I'm uh, going to get this food started and check back in with you. I had a brilliant plan to cook the steak in this pan but I cooked a steak the other night at home, and when it's screaming hot like that, it'll smoke this tent out. So, fortunately I've got some coals, I can throw it right into the oven onto those coals. And in the meantime, I'll get the mac and cheese going. You should be eaten in no time. So that steak should take about three seconds aside in there. Come out nice and medium rare. And we got the pasta started. Steak is next. It's not really a uh, bed of coals in there. It's basically just a burning log I'm going to throw the steak onto. And that should do it. And we're going to do three minutes aside. Mac and cheese is probably getting very close to done. Right, we'll get this in there. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, that should do it. Walk that in there and put three minutes on the timer. It's been about three minutes aside. I hope it's not too well done. This looks perfect. I've let the steak rest, and that looks like a pretty darn good steak. Oh yeah, that is a steak. And the mac and cheese. That's just mac and cheese. Here in the dining room slash everything, and it's about time to dig in and then book her in for the night. 
unlikely combination uh, with the mac and cheese and steak, but it's really all I happen to have with me. So, oh yeah, now that steak turned out pretty good. I'll bring you in for a good look here in a second. But, uh, mm hmm. Everything I've heard about cooking on the coals, that's true. You call that a steak? And this is a steak. Guess I'm not using pans any longer. Okay, it's about time to crawl into bed. That was a great meal. Uh, I'm gonna cook my steak on the coals from now on, on actual coals too. That was a little bit rare, but I like them that way, so it worked out good for me. If you like them more done, leave them on longer. But uh, it is minus 20 Celsius outside. I don't know whether it is Fahrenheit, but I might put it there. And uh, coiling up for bed, almost uncomfortably hot in here, even though it's so cold outside. But uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening here because I've got eight weeks of uh, this type of camping stuff so I'll be camping here in the back of my truck again I might set it up a bit nicer this time uh, under the stars hammock camping normal tent camping you name it I'll build some shelters somewhere maybe too but we've got eight weeks to play with this while I'm studying in school so I'm gonna crawl into bed and uh, hopefully you guys join me for the next uh, little adventure here on eight weeks and Hope to see you soon. Thanks. Now you're camping with Steve.